Hello everyone, welcome to my video series of Mall Bio Explain in 3 minutes where I explain the concept of molecular biology in less than 3 minutes or so. If you haven't yet subscribed to that channel, hit that subscribe button. Today's installment, we'll talk about reverse transcriptase PCR and this kind of PCR converts mRNA into cDNA with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme. So with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme, you can see mRNA is converted into a complementary DNA. This cDNA can be utilized for various applications. For example, if you are making a cDNA library, this is the first step. In terms of gene expression analysis, cDNA preparation is the first step. So let's learn how this process is done and what is the scientific basis behind it. But let me tell you, this kind of process was formulated after knowing that several virus can perform reverse transcription reactions, such as the HIV virus. HIV virus has reverse transcriptase enzyme which converts the viral mRNA into cDNA. And looking at this biological phenomena, scientists designed this, QPC, this particular uh, RT-PCR strategy. Now let's look at a mRNA. This particular mRNA has a 5' prime cap and a 3' prime polyadenylated tail. So the first step of this reverse transcriptase PCR is to form a primer. And generally the primer that is used in this kind of reaction is a oligo DT primer, a stretch of T. So reverse transcriptase enzyme can start synthesizing the cDNA strand if you have this oligo DT primer. But in reality, this particular reaction is little bit more complex. So instead of using only oligo DT, scientists prefer to use a combination of oligo DT and random hexamer primers. Now, from the oligo DT, let's say this particular reverse transcriptase starts is its journey. And wherever there is random hexamer, it can start a fresh set of elongation from that point. Now, processivity of reverse transcriptase is low and that is why using a combination of hexamer and oligo DT gives good yield. So let's compare normal PCR with the reverse transcriptase PCR. When it is normal PCR, template is DNA. But in case of reverse transcriptase PCR, mRNA acts as a template. In normal PCR, forward and reverse primer cocktail is used, while in the reverse transcriptase PCR, oligo DT and random hexamer primer is used. DNTP is used in both of these reactions. In normal PCR, TAC polymerase is used, whereas in reverse transcriptase PCR, reverse transcriptase enzyme is used. And adequate buffer, magnesium chloride, these kind of components are used in both these cases. And the program that is used to generate or used to uh, amplify the products, they are also different. In normal PCR, the TAC polymerase works in 72 degrees centigrade, while reverse transcriptase at least the newer version of re reverse transcriptase works at 50 degrees centigrade and the programs are also very dif different and let us try to understand what exactly happens during these cycles in the thermal cycler so first step is an incubation at 60 degrees centigrade for five minutes where the secondary structures of the rna is resolved and a linearized rna is formed then a stage where four degrees centigrade is reached then several primers such as the oligo DT and the hexamer primer can anneal to this RNA. Later on, at 50 degree centigrade temperature, the reverse transcriptase can, recruit, can be recruited and it can start polymerizing and synthesizing the cDNA strand. After it has done its job, it can be heat inactivated at 80 degree centigrade. And that is how we obtain cDNA from the RT-PCR reaction. Let me tell you, RT-PCR reaction is often confused with real-time quantitative PCR, but real-time quantitative PCR and reverse transcriptase PCR are two different things. But let me tell you that before quantitative PCR, you have to perform reverse transcriptase PCR to generate the cDNA altogether. If you want to learn more about RTQPCR or real-time quantitative PCR, you can click on the vi video in the i button. So, if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can share me, you can uh, support me via Patreon. You can also pay me via 
uh, other methods. My QR code is given here. If you're an Indian viewer, you can support me by, by that. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also take my Unacademy course by using my code AP10. You can get a 10% discount. Thank you.